water flow channels are light and easy to handle and in order to install them, the best way is to flip them upside down and snap them together, then get three or four of these and install them. Now, installation can either take place with rebar, which goes into the rebar clips, or with our optional Rainy Arrow, which allows for an additional side-to-side uh, -side full one-inch adjustability. And this Rainy Arrow allows for side-to-side -side and also vertical adjustability. This thing simply snaps onto the, the channel for support. Now, of course, on a job site, many times you have issues with locations and placements of the hub outlet. And in those instances where the outlet cannot be right where it is standard on the channel, we have the optional no hub outlet, which can be snapped again literally anywhere on the channel for additional flexibility. This can be moved to match job conditions. So now let's put them together, see how easy this is. And just like that, you have four meters. Uh, remember the point on the insulation board? This is here not only to protect the channels during the pour, but also to make sure that you line up the joints. So these would be installed staggered the joints like this. So you have that nice straight linear look on your trench drain. The catch basins are also available and they can be installed with any depth channel we have. And our line is flexible in the sense that the end caps that you're seeing here, this is size for number 20, would literally be cut down to match the profile of the channel that I need to connect to my catch base. And I basically, in an effect, I'm creating a filler piece that fills in my catch basin. So then on top of it, I can come with the channel and install it. This is a saving for the contractors. They don't have to dig a deep trench. They only have to dig where the catch basin is located. It's really simple and, and user-friendly for the job.